Antimicrobial resistance, according to the World Health Organization, is one of the top global public health threats to humanity. It requires urgent attention in order to achieve the sustainable development goals. Today on Sound Health, this is our focus. I am Ola Sumbo Mudupe. The conversation begins after this break. Please stay tuned. It is still Sound Health on Lagos Television. Joining us via Zoom this evening is Onita Mola Awoshola, a pharmacognosist. She's going to tell us how to beat antimicrobial resistance. Good evening, Onita Mola. How are you today? All right, um, Oyinda Mola, before we go into the nitty gritty of today's topic, let us know what um, drug resistance is. Is drug resistance the same as micro, uh, antimicrobial resistance or um, antibiotic resistance? Okay, thank you for the opportunity. Um, drug resistance is majorly the ability for um, an infectious um, organism or um, um, to be resistant to drug. Aside um, infectious organisms like um, bacteria, fungi, viruses, um, even the cancer cells um, that are form resistance to drugs are also classified as, um, you know, potential drugs that have um, refused to, to uh, be affected by the ability of these drugs. Are you with me? Yes, you can go ahead. Yes. So basically, we would say drug resistance is not um, just featuring antimicrobials, but also featuring cancer cells, tumors that are, are form resistance against um, the drugs that should actively, you know, um, work against their um, proliferation. Thank you. Okay, so let us know how um, these um, development take place. How does antimicrobial or drug resistance happen? Basically, um, for microorganisms, I would be using um, bacteria as an example. Um, they form resistance by basically having these enzymes that can deactivate um, the molecular activities of these drugs. For example, if you look at um, cephalosporin, cephalosporin is one of the um, antibiotics used for um, you know bacterial infections. Normally, these bacteria form um, beta lactamase. They use beta lactamase, which is an enzyme, to deactivate the activities of the drugs. And at, um, as we evolve, as human evolves, so bacteria evolve, and other organisms too. They do evolve. Um, there's mutation in their gene. You know, they divide into um, group. Unlike us, we have to reproduce by sexual contact. They, they divide, and as they divide, there's an ability that their DNA changes. That's another way they can form resistance to um, to drugs. So, either by using this drug, overuse of this drug, over prescription of this drug, or also genetic mutation by this um, organism can cause um, um, resistance to antibiotics. Okay, okay Oinda Mola, please tell us, let us know what increases the risk of antimicrobial um, resistance now. Usually, is misuse, overuse of antimicrobials. Misuse and overuse. You, we, um, we cannot overemphasize that um, Antibiotics are the most overused among um, the drug class that we have. People just assume that, 
oh, I have this. Let me use an antibiotic. Let me use this. Let me use. Before you know it, people are already matching amoxicillin, ampicillin, everything. You'll be surprised. So the more we use this drug, the more um, this um, bacteria or this organism begin to form um, resistance because um, adaptability is uh, a characteristic of a living thing. Whether a human being or anything living, it has to adapt. So these harsh conditions of antibiotics, once they have formed, um, once they have adapted to that situation, they move beyond what we have on stock, in stock rather, and you know, it it um, belittles the efficacy of these drugs. Hey, Damola, earlier in my question, um, one of the questions I asked, I wanted to know the difference between drug resistance, anti um, antibiotic resistance, as well as antimicrobial resistance. In your response now, you just pointed out that uh, these occurrence is much more prominent when you use um, antibiotics. Um, can this um, scenario be seen in or experienced with um, normal medication like paracetamol, vitamin C, and other medication apart from antibiotics? No, paracetamol is not a class of um, antibiotics. Um, like I explained earlier, drug resistance, if we explain drug resistance, we are actually looking at our targets, antimicrobials, firstly, and antineoplastic, that's the drugs that are used in um, managing um, um, cancer cells. So, looking at drug resistance, we are targeting antimicrobials and anti-cancers. That's um, the chemo, the chemo drugs, what we call chemo. Yeah. Yes. That's what we are targeting. Yes. Usually, the resistance to chemo is from cells. What I mean is from the body. Right? These this cells have the ability to, to divide because um, a cancer cell can can um, evolve from another cell. Mm. You get it. So this these cells have the ability to form resistance by themselves. It's not um it's not by habit or or like antimicrobial where your your, your habit can actually cause resistance. People overuse um, these drugs. Okay. Um. Is this condition treatable? Is it what? Is this condition treatable? We, we have um, preventive measures, like I said earlier. The first is we should stop overusing, misusing antibiotics or antimicrobials. Then secondly, it's our lifestyle. What are we eating? What are we drinking? What are we doing? So thirdly, is that we should stop mounting pressures on um, physicians to prescribe these drugs to us. You know, each each and every time I have to see a patient with one infection or the other, they will tell you, just give me a drug that can work for this infection. Hmm. You know, even if they are form resistance to, you know, that drug. And um, another way, the fourth way will be that um, there is need to develop new drugs. A research by Yuan uh, et al. 2017 says that nature will be the next way to find a permanent solution to antimicrobial um, resistance, as well as um, anti-cancer drug resistance too. And also, we um, physicians also have a very big role to play because um, aside from pressure, we have um, more people who do symptomatology rather than asking people to run diagnostic tests so um, immediately they see um, someone with um, headache um, and some other symptoms that we can class as the general symptoms for malaria typhoid and all that they begin to prescribe antibiotics over antibiotics and we see that this body of over antibiotic use has reduced the efficacy to the lowest minimum so my advice to any um, everybody is let us use drugs as prescribed, as prescribed, and to physicians too. So let's do the needful. All right, let's 
let's look at um, these the role of these developments in the treatment of um, microbiotum um, tuberculosis now um, the world health organization says uh, this is this development is is a threat to the eradication of tuberculosis in the world what do you think can be done differently at this time to change the narrative okay thank you um for tuberculosis if i get you right yes yeah um there's there's a proper measure present by the Lagos state government, um, the test has been tests have been rolled out. People are getting tested, and um, people are getting medication. I can I can um, um, say that the Lagos state government have put in all measures to make sure that this is helped, to make sure that this doesn't spread. You know, but we also have our own duty. Hmm. You know, to play. When it comes to um, um, endemic diseases and all that, so we have our role to play. Let's take all safety precautions and um, make sure that you know after being tested and you know um, we've gotten these drugs, we use it as prescribed. Thank you. All right, Oyi Damola. Oftentimes, um, in this part of the world and some other in other clients now we see people walk up to any pharmacy to buy um, a particular prescription based on um, previous history and uh, as well as um you know based on uh maybe neighbors um, experience or history with the medication how do you think the government can you know stop this or discourage this and what is your call to action okay i think the, the basic measure that we can put in education we have to educate people drug abuse is beyond using cannabis um, or other um, um, injurious things using a drug when you don't need it or when it's not prescribed should be discouraged so people should get your next neighbor should know that using an antibiotic without proper prescription without proper diagnosis is wrong so it has to be peer-to-peer a kind of um, education okay. or something we we'll call public engagement. People need to know that this body of antimicrobial resistance is no joke because without this antibiotic, we, we can't do open surgery hmm. at all because they are needed. If we keep if we keep using this drug, I'm using we because a lot of physicians too are very much guilty. So if we keep using these drugs, anyhow, in court, we would lose, we would lose balance because um, new antibiotics are being worked on, but we would not ignore the fact that um, antibiotics uh, uh, markets is not an odd cake in the pharmaceutical industry because once you produce this another bacteria had already formed resistance beyond misuse bacteria like i said earlier bacteria they they, they um, mutate so once the, the cell division they can actually create resistance to the future if you know what i mean their dna can actually divide and create resistance to the future so you're creating you're you're, you're, you're making a formulation of antibiotics that nobody have used and somebody is using it and the bacteria is already surprising everybody like it's already um um resistant so um the best advice is that people young people old people everyone it's everyone's duty to know that using drugs without um proper prescription is wrong whether it is antibiotic whether it's cheap or it is expensive Oyi Damola Awoshola, pharmacognosist. Uh, thank you so much for your expertise on antimicrobial as well as drug resistance on sound health. You're welcome. Thank you so much for having me on the show. It is still Sound Health on Lagos Television. Trending Health Report is next. Please stay tuned.
This is why we say thank you on today's episode of Sound Health. Remember, do not abuse drug and make sure you complete your medication to avoid drug resistance. For comments and inquiries, please send SMS 0035 826603 or follow us on social media at LTV Social hashtag Sound Health. A sound health is a sound mind. Make healthy living your choice.